say is the biggest killer of confidence? Um, from all the research that, that we have done, I have found that the biggest killer of confidence is the word expectation. Mm. The word expectation, uh, here's why, it's, it's black or white. And the problem is with an expectation you either succeed or you fail. And as human beings we're going to fail. <laughs> so what happens is we end up setting ourselves up to fail because of a specific expectation that doesn't get met. And I actually just had a conversation with somebody today about this. Uh, she was struggling with feeling disappointed. Disappointment comes from expectation. Right. Have expectations, we don't meet them, we're disappointed. Now we see ourselves as failures. And it's funny, when I talk to young athletes, I ask them, you know, is failure good or bad? And I always get some say good, some say bad. And then they get to the point where they'll answer, okay, maybe it's both. <laughs> And I always say, how about it's neither? Hmm. How about it's neither? How about failure is just the thing? We as human beings attach the emotion to it. So if we can take failure and look at it as just the thing, then the expectations change. I've had, I've had uh, many coaches say, yeah, but you know, you have to have high expectations. The problem is I'm not saying lower the bar. In fact, I'm saying get rid of the bar. Bar only makes us complacent than when we hit it. So how about if there is no bar and we just go play in the moment? And instead of having these expectations that set ourselves up to fail, now there are none. And now we, we look at things like process goals. We look at being in the present moment because as an athlete, that's the most important thing you can do is be in the present moment. That takes away from the expectation, which then kills confidence. Do kids understand that concept of being in the present moment, do you find? They do with practice. Um, it's not easy. It's not easy for any of us right. I think, to, be, to, to understand really what it feels like to be in that present moment. But as they can practice it, um, they can understand. I use three words that are very simple. Be here now. And it's a mantra that they can repeat to themselves. Be here now. They can say it to their teammates in the middle of a play when you see you know, your teammate uh, just made an error and is struggling or made a mistake or, you know, missed a shot or whatever it is. All of a sudden, with those three simple words, be here now, it brings them back into the present moment to say, you know what, what just happened doesn't matter. It's over. I can't change it. And I can't worry about what's going to happen. The only thing I can affect is this next play, this next second, this next pitch, this next shot, whatever it is. That's the only thing that I can affect. So I need to be here now in order to not let everything else affect me. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the mental toughness trainer.